Day celebrated her record-breaking Grammy win, In Style. On Wednesday, the 41-year-old singer posted a video to her Instagram from her post-Grammys party to a remix of her hit song, Cuff It, dancing with her husband, Jay-Z, her mom, Tina Knowles Lawson, and many other friends. In the win heard round the world on Sunday at the 2023 Grammys, Beyonce became the person with the most Grammy awards of all time. The Break My Soul songstress's win for Best Dance or Electronic Music Album for Renaissance put her at 32 Golden Gramophones. Queen Bee took the stage to deliver an emotional speech and thank her proud hubby Jay-Z, who looked about ready to shed tears of his own. I'd like to thank my parents, my father, my mother, for loving me and pushing me. I'd like to thank my beautiful husband, my beautiful three children who are at home watching. Beyonce drew even more cheers when giving a special shout out to those who helped inspire the success of Renaissance. I'd like to thank the queer community for your love and for inventing this genre. God bless you. Thank you so much to the Grammys. Thank you. The mom of three also won best R&B song for her hit, Cuff It, but couldn't accept the award because she was late. DP time. Beyonce, thanks y'all. <laughs> Instead of Beyonce taking the stage, Nile Rodgers and Terry's The Dream, Jess Steeled Diamond, who worked with her on the song, spoke out on her behalf after Grammy's host Trevor Noah clarified that Bay and her hubby were on the way, just stuck in classic LA traffic. DP time, Beyonce, thanks so. <laughs> all All right, all right, all right. So for real, Beyonce is on her way, but you know the upside of hosting, the, us, the upside of hosting the Grammys in LA is that everyone can be here. The downside of hosting the Grammys in LA is the traffic.